Hello everyone, I'm Miranda and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm really excited for today's video because my mum, Donna, hello, <laughs> and I are doing a Q&A about our first year in Yorkshire. We moved to Yorkshire from London almost exactly a year ago today. Very exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> And I thought it would be really fun to answer your questions about our first year in Yorkshire and our hopes for the future as a way to celebrate our first year in the countryside. Thank you to all who sent in questions via YouTube and Instagram. We had fun looking we through did. them, didn't Lots we? Lots of great questions, yeah. thank you. And we're going to have fun answering yes, them. Yes, we are. And you've made us reflect a bit on what life has, yes. the ways life has changed yes. and what we're enjoying and everything since we've moved here. Exactly. So I'm looking forward to actually kind of getting into the questions together. Me too, I think the reflection and thinking about it has been really great. Yes, it yeah. has. But just before we go on to do that, I also want to say that I will be taking next week for sure off from YouTube, hopefully not longer than that. But by the time this video goes live, I will have had my second COVID vaccination. And I reacted very strongly to the first vaccination shot that I had. The second is meant to be much easier and I really hope that it will be because the first one really knocked me out of action for <laughs> quite a few weeks. But I'm taking, I'm going to just take it really yeah. easy for the week after, even if I'm feeling great. So, which hopefully I will be. <laughs> but yes, so um, next week I won't be back on YouTube. Hopefully I'll be back after that. And I'll certainly be returning as soon as possible, even if I'm not back afterwards. But fingers crossed. Yeah, we're going to think positive, but I yes. just think it's wise to warn yeah. you that yeah. there will be a week's rest and also. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But let's get into these questions because okay. there are some really good ones. So first question is, if it hadn't been for COVID, do you think you would have moved last year? A lot of people actually asked us about why we moved. We've answered those questions in a previous video, which I'll link to in the description box below. But I thought we'd just run through because of this question briefly too. Yeah. We wouldn't have moved last year. No, we year wouldn't have moved. I if it hadn't been sure. for COVID. Yeah. Oh, so you were made redundant. Not to do with COVID, no. but I think I would have easily found another job in London if it, if had it hadn't, hadn't been, been for COVID. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes. So that was really a very big factor in yeah. why we moved to the countryside and we yeah. were living in a very tiny flat in London with absolutely no outdoor space, no balcony. Yeah. And I think that experience of being yeah. really cooped up in this flat made us realise how much we wanted some space. Absolutely, and, and we both, although not serious, I must say, but we both have such, such, certainly underlying pre-existing conditions that mean that where well, we were more anxious in London with the proximity of, of people and everything. Yes, yes, it was a yeah. bigger concern for us. Yeah. And we had been to Yorkshire on a holiday about 11 years previous and then again about seven or eight years ago and we knew we absolutely loved it we'd always joked about living in Yorkshire one yes, day yes. and then the opportunity just came up I found this house to rent and everything just fell into place we had to rent it sight unseen because we moved during the first lockdown yeah. so it was all a bit of an adventure it was. but it worked out really very well happy adventure. Yes. we're very happy to have made this. yes yes so, next question. Oh, I, I liked this question. What do you love most about living with your mum? Because, <laughs> yes, we lived together. Yeah, we yeah. were living together in London as well, just yes. before we moved. We yeah. haven't always lived together no. for a long time, um, through most of my 20s. Yes. Yeah. Um, we was, didn't live together. No, no. You were in Dorset. I was in Dorset, yes. Yes, but at my sort of late 20s, you came and lived with me. Yes, that's right. So we've been living together for a few years now, and I absolutely love it because my mum's really like my best friend. <laughs> so it's just like getting Likewise. to live yeah. with my best friend. 
so I feel very lucky. I've lived, you know, with flatmates, with a boyfriend in the past, and you're definitely the nicest person <laughs> that I've ever lived with. <laughs> Well, I hope you like living with your daughter. I do, very much, very much. I feel very blessed, yeah. <laughs> okay, next question. What is one thing you have learned most about yourselves since moving to the country? What is one thing you've learned about yourself since moving to the country? I was amazed to realise I actually am quite a country person. I mean, you would know that I was convinced absolutely yeah. from a teen on that I was a city girl yeah and I did really enjoy living in London I loved all the advantages that living in a big city has to offer especially going to university in a big city and having a lot of friendship circles and everything all yeah. of those opportunities yeah. and even with blogging and things like that I think I made the most out of all the opportunities that came my way yeah in London. However, since moving to the country side, I've realised that I absolutely love it. I love country life. It actually suits my character in ways I hadn't really pieced together. Mm -hmm. I'm very domestic. I'm a real home buddy. Yeah. I'm yeah. also a real introvert. I always like to spend a lot of time on my own. And so my physical surroundings in terms of where I live is really important to me because I do like to have a lot of downtime. That's one of the reasons we get on so well together yes. too is although we're so close we also give each other space we do we're not we do. You know, we're not in the same room all the time no, or anything no, like that exactly yeah, yeah and i just love having beautiful landscape around me lots of wildlife it's really special yeah i think for me what i've learned is is it's really good for one whatever your age to have adventures and pastures new, to, to do something different. That's really exciting. Yes. And it, it you know, it can be a bit of a leap of faith, but it's really lovely. Yes, that's really true. I think um, change, life is all about change. It is. And it embracing is. it is really the way to go, isn't it? It is. Yes. It is. And you're Definitely. very good about that. It keeps you young. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, next question. What has been your favourite season in the Yorkshire countryside and why? I feel a bit like every season we've been in has been my favourite. It's all been wonderful and you, I must admit that it's hard to beat spring summer. I mean, I think that's lovely. Yes. Absolutely. Especially sort of the end of spring, beginning of summer, May, June, that sort of time. It's yes, the gorgeous. time that we moved last year and we yeah. arrived, it was just magical. Yeah. And I really enjoyed May and June. Well, yeah. when it wasn't raining. <laughs> I really enjoyed it this year too. Mm. There's something about summer in the countryside that you you just can't get it in the city. And mm. that's been such a delight to me to realise how special it is. There's just nowhere like being in the countryside no, in the summertime. I've been surprised though how much I really enjoyed the winter. I thought oh, I'm gonna hate the winter part. That really made me a bit anxious. But in fact, because probably because I'm not working outside of the home, I'm not worrying about having to deal with the snow. If it's if it's not very nice, we don't go out. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, um, and I have to say though that I do I did love Christmas. That yeah, was really special. It was, here. It was. Yeah, really beautiful. Okay, and the next question is, what has been your favourite find in Yorkshire, whether it be a shop, a part of Yorkshire, or a general area? Well, the Yorkshire Dales is amazing, yes. I have to say generally, absolutely gorgeous. Yes, I agree, yeah. Yorkshire Dales are just stunning, Yeah, and a small thing, but something that's actually quite big to yeah. me is discovering a really wonderful lady who has her own flower farm and who sells flowers and we get so many flowers from her at Susie at Picked at Dawn who's also yeah. helping us with our little garden patch yeah. and that's been a big thing for me because I was worried about finding good flowers when I moved out of London because I use them in my photography a lot and we also just love flowers and I was worried about not having the you know lovely florists in London 
close to hand but we get a bucket of flowers from Susie whenever we want one and that is so wonderful it's harder it's in so the winter beautiful. it's much harder because her, then, yeah. her flowers are seasonal yeah but I'm finding ways to work around that yeah and it's lovely to have seasonal flowers that are grown in Britain just a few miles from us yeah that's really special and she's also really lovely I mean some of the florists I used in London, I appreciated their flowers, but I didn't really appreciate their customer service, shall we say. <laughs> You'll be very right happy with that, yes. Yes, I'll never forget <laughs> how snooty one woman was with me at this very nice florist in London, but when I wanted white and red flowers for Christmas. Yeah. And she was like very snooty to me about that. Apparently, you would never put that combination together. <laughs> and I thought, well, it is Christmas. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> just this Make an exception. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and you certainly don't get that here. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I so. think for me, I was really relieved to find Boots, which is a local, very nice grocery shop you yes. know that was yes. something that yeah uh, we're really enjoying having that and it's yes and lots of lovely little local book uh butchers yes. and farm stores and things like that yeah. in the summer absolutely so, great food yes yeah yes okay and next question what part of yorkshire are you most looking forward to exploring what other <laughs> towns and villages in yorkshire are you planning to visit soon um, so, yeah, a couple of people ask questions around that kind of theme. I'm really looking forward to going to the coast yes. now that yeah. it's summer and we can travel a bit yeah. more and the Yorkshire coast is beautiful. So that's definitely one of my plans. I, I'd like to see the ruined abbeys. That's something that I'm yes. excited to yes. visit. We Fountains have... Abbey is near us and yes. that's beautiful. It is. It yes. is. But we haven't... Uh, we've been to Whitby, Whitby Abbey before, yeah, I'd like to go back. but we want to go yeah, back yeah. and we haven't, I don't think we've explored any of the other abbeys no, we haven't. in Yorkshire. So yes, that will definitely yeah. be on the list too. And also just a lot more of the small little market towns and villages, and villages even, yes. around. Yeah. I think we're just really looking forward to driving around. You love to get lost and I sort do. of just discover I what's do. out it there. It happens really easily, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. I keep but, saying to her, I'll, I'll turn off the directions. We'll just find our own way and we get lost and she has to find the direction. <laughs> yes. But we had a fun time just the other day. We yeah. went out and we just drove followed some of the signs to ancient churches yes for instance, yes yes just to start having a bit of an explore and yeah. that was really wonderful so we're also looking forward to just exploring in a small way like that but really getting to know some of our more local villages and market towns yeah I'm exactly to it um, okay, next question is, what's the best thing about Yorkshire according to you? And I was also asked, what do you like most about living in Yorkshire? What has been the biggest positives in moving to Yorkshire? Hmm. Um, so, I mean, there's so much I like about yes. living in Yorkshire. I think Yorkshire is a very special county because it has such a variety. It's very You've big, got, isn't it? It's yeah. very big. It's the biggest county yes. I think yeah and uh, you have the coast you have the moors you have the Yorkshire Dales yeah. you have charming little villages you have wonderful cities like York and yeah. Harrogate yeah and there's oh. so much around Yorkshire too that's great to there explore are, there is and I mean you've got lovely um, houses and parks and museums to explore yes, as well. Yes, exactly, and Leeds yeah. as well. And Leeds, we haven't been we to We haven't yet. been to Leeds yet, and I do want to go to Leeds, but definitely when we're both fully vaccinated. Yes, and, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But yes, there's just, there's so much within Yorkshire itself. It's got so much of everything that I think that's something that makes it really special, yeah. a special place to live. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so next question. Well, and those are our sort of personal biggest positives, I guess, in moving to Yorkshire. I just, 
I love, I just love all the sense of freedom that I have, I think, yes. in the countryside. Yeah. And I feel like my time is my own a little bit more yeah. um, than when I was in the city. Yeah. And I find it really inspiring. I find the natural world very inspiring. I think our proximity, like just being able to go outside and we're in our little bit of garden area yes. we can walk to beautiful um, gardens and yeah. parks and things it's lovely it is yeah. yeah yeah okay next question is what's the most difficult thing about your new <laughs> home or life in Yorkshire um oh you know what I find a little hard what? is that the shops aren't open all the time every day. <laughs> that I have to get used to. I, I don't yes. blame them for not being, but I find it's something you'll turn up somewhere and you think, oh, actually it's Wednesday and they, they don't open on Wednesday. And I'm just not used to that <laughs> That's anymore. true. We've been caught yeah. out a few times already yeah. by odd opening hours <laughs> yes. in places. And that's when you remember you're not in London yeah. anymore. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I think my biggest, mindset challenge has been moving from really big city living where yeah. everyone is kind of anonymous yeah. to small town, small village living essentially yeah. when everyone seems to know each other, when people could be related. Yes, I mean, a lot of people have aunts and sisters yeah, and cousins who, who all live all really around. nearby. Yeah, yeah. And that's just so different from what yeah. I'm used to in yeah. London that that's been one of the biggest mindset challenges for me, yeah. I think. Yeah, that's really true. So what I lived in London for a long time and it was just so different. In I mean, even when I lived in Dorset, because I had family there and I knew yeah. it was where I was born, the area and things, that made a real difference. Yes. I had that connection. And to in it. London, I'm used to the lifestyle where people are constantly coming and going. They're moving yeah. into London and they're moving away. And of course, when you start going into the countryside, people have been born and brought up here yeah. and never left and yeah. it's just a lot more stable I guess in that it way is. but I'm, it's not what I'm used not to not what you're used to and for me I find one of the things that I find more challenging is the thought of oh it's actually quite difficult to get to Cornwall or mm. to go to France like it's yes. not like you're in London where you've got the trains yes and, and you've, you've got the, the hub airport. of all of yeah. the public transport and flights yeah. and yes all yeah. of that I mean, yeah we do have some airports quite close to us we do which is good we do but um yeah no more hassle than getting to <laughs> Gatwick no, but um I do miss just being able to hop on a tube yes yes and, you and get to yeah yeah um, an airport or wherever yes exactly you know, that, that yeah is um more of a challenge as well however a big positive in our life now is that now we have a car yes and exactly that opens us a lot more freedom to go yeah. exploring yes. on our own timetable and that's a huge advantage and I love it and being being old in our cause I find it really lovely that it's not relying on walking all the time yes. for me personally yeah. 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 yeah yeah okay next question do you miss London lots of people asked us this and we yeah. have replied to this before as well but I will say again yes of course we miss London yes. I mean I miss the, some of the people in London and yeah. there's lots I do miss about London but I'm certainly not sorry to have left London no and we can also go back lots of and enjoy here. London's yes. still there too. yes yeah. exactly yeah. not like it's disappeared yeah or that we can't ever go again yeah so those things we enjoy about London we can go back and enjoy yeah. them then yeah um next question oh yes this was a question from Teresa that I really liked. My question, she says, would be, what one treat think Desert Island Discs, it could be a house, <laughs> restaurant, shop or museum, would you like to have magic from London to Yorkshire? It's a brilliant question, that one. Yes. <laughs> it's caused us, we've thought we, about yeah, this Yeah, we've question. thought about this question the most, actually. Yeah. It's been yeah. A, um, really fun. And yeah. We, it's really hard to just choose one thing. We kind it of is. want two areas. <laughs> We've decided we want a district. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think do yours first. Well, okay. I, I think I yeah. want Mayfair. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes, it's like a monopoly game. Yes. <laughs> it's become winning. <laughs> you are. Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, but no, I mean, I like I would I want you know the London Library, Hatchards, um, the big Waterstones Piccadilly, Fortnum and Mason. There's um, an amazing cafe. Well, two amazing cafes in Mayfair. There's a restaurant that we loved called yeah. Greenhouse yeah. in Mayfair. Haywood My Hill. old gym was in Mayfair. Oh, you loved your gym. Yeah. yeah. Haywood Hill. Yeah. So Mayfair has a lot of very positive associations for me. So many places that I loved were in Mayfair and I've had a lot of just fun times and important yeah. times. And yes, you know, I loved my yoga instructor who was at the gym I went to there. And, you know, I'd meet a friend at the London Library sometimes yeah. and things like that. So I definitely <laughs> sort of like that little <laughs> bit. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the corner of Soho that had your club. Because I know you miss your club. Oh. Um, yeah. Yes, so I was a member of Quo Vardis, which is this incredible restaurant and members club in London. Mm -hmm. And I would say, may, maybe in some ways, if I could really only pick one thing, I would pick that plus a, plus a bookshop. I can't yeah. really leave a bookshop. <laughs> yeah. But because Quo Vardis is just so London, it is yeah. quintessentially London and it's changed a bit in recent years which is a shame because the restaurant became about an eighth of the size of the original yeah. but I have so many happy memories yeah. from going there celebrating special occasions and milestones yes. and always having fun in the club yes. upstairs yes. as well lots of fun times yeah. had there and yeah and it, it was, was such so a London place it was so, it was London. so London yeah, yeah. Um, so. For me, I think I have to have Marlebone. Marlebone High Street. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Because <laughs> yes. um, then I get Dawn. Yes. And Fishers. And Fishers. I love. absolutely love Fishers. And then and my, I do one miss... of my favourite restaurants is the Orrery. Oh, yes. That was amazing. And we used to, it felt so London. You'd go out on the balcony before your meal and you'd have a drink and you could hear the London sounds. Yes, but you sort of look out over, over the rooftops of yes. Marlebone. And there's Loved a set that. of townhouse in Marlebone yes. now. I always used to get my eyebrows threaded oh, at yes. Ashley Patel. She was lovely. That yes, was that was really place. good. And yeah. I missed that actually. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you do. Yes. yes, yeah. And yes, those were our two. Yeah. Well, some of our two very, very favourite areas. Yeah. Yeah, I think because they had things that perhaps aren't quite as easy to find. Yes. But I'm sure we will discover favourite areas. We will, and yes. Things. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. Next. Do you see yourself staying in Yorkshire for a considerable time? So many people ask this yeah. question or variations on this question. For instance, someone else asked... How is living in England different from France and the US and do you see yourself living somewhere else in the future? Well, I moved to England from France a very long time ago when yeah. I was 18. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's very different from living in France or the US, but I think that's a whole other <laughs> video, possibly. Yes. Yes. Um, but I love the UK, I love being here. Yeah. And I certainly see ourselves in Yorkshire for the indefinite future I mean yeah. I really love Yorkshire no plans to leave Yorkshire no. um but I was to never say never because I've moved so many times exactly in my life you never know what is round the corner or what can happen yeah so yes <laughs> but definitely yeah. no plans to move We're anywhere very else happy right anytime. here right now and, and so, enjoying that yeah yes has anything about Yorkshire or your new home taken you by surprise? Well, definitely how much colder it is. Oh, yes. Yeah. has taken us. Yes. By yes. Everybody told us this yeah. and we knew it, but it yes. still took us by surprise. It still surprise. took us by surprise. And windy. It's, yes, it's that was a big yeah. surprise. It's yeah. really windy. Yeah. And yeah, I it wasn't was... expecting that no. at all. No. So. The weather has taken us. And a for bit. me, a little bit of almost the storybook nature of of of, of the natural world. Yeah. Outside. You know, we had 
sort of toadstools in a ring on the lawn and yes. things like that yes. you know I, I I've seen the lambs and oh, everything yeah. and, and even like the rabbits you, know, you think yeah. it's just what they illustrate in picture books for children <laughs> yes. but then when you're actually living in the countryside you realize no it's real it actually looks yeah. like that yeah. and yeah. that's very very special and a delightful surprise yeah delightful yeah mm -hmm. Next question, do you feel restricted because you're in a rented property? I'm very used to living in a rented property. I think we're very happy to live yeah. in a rented property we are, right then. now. You yes. know, we're enjoying having that freedom yes, too. Yes, exactly. And, yeah. and I mean, this isn't a home interiors <laughs> channel. No. And that's not what I do. I, no. I really like where we live and we've still got to make it feel like our place yes yes so i don't actually feel restricted by that no what are some home projects you'd like to do for example gardening or landscape wise well like i said um we are in a rented property so yeah. you can't do too much in the way of home renovations and i'm not that kind of Wait, diy no. person I actually at all would dread anyway. that even light bulb changing is is a challenge for me <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I have shown in some previous videos the little garden area that we have um, in front of our kitchen and that we're enjoying planting up a bit and Definitely. taking care of, but we don't have too many elaborate plans because for one thing the part that we actually have available to garden for us is very small, there's yeah. not that much you can do with it we're doing what we can yeah we might get some more pots and things but we're also busy i'm very busy yes. so i'm always yeah. a bit leery of something that will require Big a lot time, of time commitment. Yeah. commitment yes yeah. so we're just taking it slow with things like that and i'd like to get a bit more garden furniture at some point yes that would be <laughs> so nice we can, um, and more bookcases of course <laughs> But yeah, but inside always yeah. more bookcases. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's always the the challenge of our lives. Yeah. Putting yeah. in more bookcases. Yeah. But no, I think neither of us are, are DIYers. We're not no. particularly, you know, involved with that sort no, of No, that's just not our area of expertise no. or big area of interest. interest. I mean we no. like making our home look as comfortable and nice and as I possible. And I do think with but... our taste, we suit this sort of older yes, um, definitely. home, right? Rather yes. than a very modern yes. flat in London. Yes. It just it yes. suits what we like. It does. So, and we've yeah. been really enjoying furnishing a place yeah. for the first time in yes. years and years. Yes. It's always rented furnished. And London is far London. more normal for yes. it to be furnished. Whereas in the countryside, it's far more normal to rent unfurnished. So yeah. we had to furnish this place. Yeah. And that was certainly a big but yes. fun project. Yes, it was. Yes. Yeah. And next question. Has the move improved your mental well being? Well, um, not working has. You're not working <laughs> yeah. outside the home yes. has, I think. Yes. You know, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. And just I mean, we do love our life in Yorkshire, we do. I have to say. Yeah. And I think country life really suits us both very yeah. well. Yeah. And I think it helps so much being able to just step out the door and into nature. That's something yeah. I've found that if I ever feel anxious or stressed, it's been so nice to just walk out the door and go on a lovely walk. Yes. Really it puts easily. everything in perspective, doesn't it? It does. Yes. It really helps to put yeah. things in perspective for me. Yeah. I couldn't do that in London. I stepped out of the door into a really busy road. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it just wasn't quite the same. So I feel really lucky whenever I get to do that here. Yeah. yeah. It's still a novelty to us. It's yes. still lovely. So someone asked when I've visited England I was told that people got friendlier the more north you go true or false <laughs> well it's well, a Dorset yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is really south um <laughs> I don't you think it's more town than country yes I, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean I I don't know I always think people it just people yeah people friendly. are very friendly I think in general yeah. they're friendly if yeah. anyone's ever not friendly it's just bad luck 
queen. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. The odd individual. Yeah. Um, I think in, in London certainly people moved a lot. So we would yes, constantly it, have new neighbours and that way. Yeah. 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 And you don't I mean, yes, you don't say hello to people on the no. street in London unless you want to be thought. Whereas when we're out weirdo, walking here, we out do. walking here, you do. Yes. It yeah. is like adjustments like that in yeah. London you just don't talk to strangers yeah at all <laughs> <laughs> and that was a bit that again that's a bit of an adjustment coming yes. from London yeah. to here and yeah you yeah. just have to remember <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing odd about people yeah. <laughs> it's not like really sinister <laughs> um next question is do you plan to start any new hobbies now that you're in the country I think we'd more just like to have time for hobbies we already have. Um, yes. For me, at least, yes, I know that I could like yeah. to, you know, really have more of a chance to do my sewing and knitting and things like that. But I think we also, we were saying, we also both want to just know a bit more about the birds, the birds and the, the wildlife flowers, generally, yeah. Yeah. sort of around yeah. us, yeah. Yeah. just Wild to learn a bit more. And things. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So we'd both like to improve yeah. ourselves in that way. What have been your favourite things to happen or that you've done since moving? Well, one thing that I really loved was being able to have visitors. That because was fabulous, actually. We had visitors last sort of summer when yeah. that was allowed. I mean, yeah. remember, we've had so many restrictions yeah. with different levels of lockdown through most of the year. Yeah. But... It was really special when we could have visitors last year we did yes. and when we were in London our flat was too small to yeah. really yeah, have people to stay people, so yeah that's been lovely and then the last question is can we see more of your beautiful home or garden well I'm sharing what we both feel comfortable yeah. with sharing right now yeah. so I get asked this all the time but yeah I'm sharing what we're comfortable with. Yeah. So I don't think that will change no, anytime I don't soon. Think so <laughs> no. Yeah. But I hope you've enjoyed yes. this Q and A. We've enjoyed reflecting on our year. We it's have very wonderful. much, and of course, this has been a big part of the year. It too, has, isn't which it? has been yes. fabulous. YouTube, YouTubing so much of it. Yeah. But thank you so much for watching. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face. And I'll be back, not next week, but hopefully the following. So see you soon. Bye. Bye.